Item number, SCP-7930, Level 2-7930 Classified, Object Class, Keter, Threat Level, Yellow, Special Containment Procedures. In the interests of budget, SCP-7930 is to be forcibly acquired and operated by the SCP Foundation. Operations personnel are to keep on the premises a database of all known adult movies, updated daily. Should a theater room host a film missing from this database, personnel are required to purchase all available tickets. The Ethics Committee forbids the viewing of unknown movies. Potential instances of SCP-7930-1 are to be logged into a secure database. When the current instance dies or otherwise disqualifies themselves, Mobile Task Force Theta-36 Swedish Rhapsody is to conduct a search of adult theaters near the primary residence of potential instances. To ensure efficiency, Foundation personnel who fit the SCP-7930-1 profile are to be barred from working with the containment project. The SCP-7930 containment team is to ensure as little contact as possible between SCP-7930 and instances of SCP-7930-1. Per Ethics Committee ruling, this applies even if they're authorized to be aware of the anomalous. To this end, packages sent from SCP-7930 are to be destroyed. Description: SCP-7930 is a migratory adult theater, presently named the Whole Story Theater and located in the Brighton Beach neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. SCP-7930 is in universally poor physical condition. Outside signage is often crooked or tattered and frequently misrepresents its current showings. Bathroom facilities such as toilets and faucets have been found to activate without warning. Mixtures of confectionery and human bodily fluids have been known to accumulate on theater floors, even those barred from the public. Despite this, SCP-7930 universally complies with local code and appears capable of independently contracting labor and showing rights. In addition to non-anomalous adult films, SCP-7930 reserves at least one theater room for SCP-7930-A. Instances of SCP-7930-A are adult films featuring the current instance of SCP-7930-1. The circumstances of SCP-7930-As are anomalous. To date, no instance of SCP-7930-1 have been directly involved in their production or promotional materials. Instances of SCP-7930-A are otherwise non-anomalous. Instances of SCP-7930-1 are universally male-to-female or equivalent transsexuals in the process of transition, most of whom have previously entered or walked past SCP-7930. Upon the disqualification of the previous instance, a new instance of SCP-7930-1 is picked randomly, and SCP-7930 will abandon its previous location and migrate to a space near SCP-7930-1's primary residence. Since 1968, SCP-7930 has additionally attempted to send promotional materials to SCP-7930-1. SCP-7930-1 may be disqualified under the following circumstances. The current instance of SCP-7930-1 turns 32. The current instance of SCP-7930-1 undergoes gender reassignment surgery. The current instance of SCP-7930-1 dies. Incident 7930-CH Hodge On January 18, 2001, at 10.58 p.m., 31-year-old Hodge, then SCP-7930-1, disguised herself as a cisgender male and entered SCP-7930. Miss Hodge purchased a ticket to the Packers Part 2 slash My Little Sissy showing room before proceeding further into the theater. Between then and 11.21 p.m., her movements are unknown. At 11.21 p.m., screaming was heard from SCP-7930-A's projector room. Security personnel arrived to find Miss Hodge attacking the projector with a hatchet, having already destroyed much of its connective wiring. Footnote 1. The hatchet was presumably smuggled into the premises under her coat. By the time she was subdued, the upper and lower magazines of SCP-7930-A's projector had been hacked off, and its lens was irreparably cracked. The source of the screaming, which continued well after Miss Hodge's ejection, remains unknown. 
Since the incident, SCP-7930 has experienced several significant changes. Packages sent from SCP-7930 have increased significantly, with destinations including SCP-7930-1's family, lovers, and places of employment or education. Spots of human blood have been found on theater floors and bathroom facilities. Speakers in SCP-7930-A showrooms play significantly louder, and audio suggests that SCP-7930-A's content has grown substantially more violent and taboo. Disqualification criteria for SCP-7930-1 has since shifted to the following. The current instance of SCP-7930-1 is murdered, executed, or commits suicide. The current instance of SCP-7930-1 otherwise dies and is disavowed by their family. The current instance of SCP-7930-1 socially and medically detransitions. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Brody Hartman, Rubbishbin69, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.